On the week that Charles helmed the Queen's speech to talk about the cost of living crisis, and help ease the cost of living for families. Sitting on a gold chair, Michael Gollum Gove, possibly off his tits, started doing silly voices during an interview. An emergency budget, capital letters, a big news story. Um, and in fact, when the Treasury quite rightly say, calm down. And one Tory suggesting that it was the poor's fault they couldn't afford food because they hadn't learned to budget and cook. To cook uh, cheap, cheap and nutritious meals on a budget. We can make a meal for about 30 pence a day and this is cooking from scratch. This Tory propaganda Q&A video went under the radar. Pretending to address the nation's concerns, it lasts a mere two minutes and 50 seconds. Picking questions from disinterested individuals who look like they don't really care what the answer will be, we're treated to a barrage of lies and false promises. More opportunities for people. Well, levelling up is at the heart of everything that this government does and you can feel enormous pride in the place that you call home. This is Rich coming from the man who held on to his green card for America. I want the government to prioritise women's health. With a succession of different Tories answering questions, their lies are like jokes and this would play better with a laughter track. 1,576 more police out on the streets already. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the comedians. The NHS is all about its fantastic workforce, and that's why we're investing record amounts in the current workforce, but of course, uh, increasing it as well. We've got a record number of doctors and nurses in the NHS at the moment, and we have plans to recruit 50,000 more nurses, and thousands of more doctors. And we're getting Thank you for sharing your priorities with me. In these challenging times, this government will provide the leadership needed to deliver for you. Oh, you suck. And I can assure you, my government, our government, will be focused like a laser on these issues for the remainder of this parliament and beyond.